System data sounds mysterious, but it's really just your Mac's junk drawer, full of caches, logs, backups, and leftover files Mac OS keeps just in case. The problem is there's no delete system data button. You open the storage panel, see that massive gray bar, and when you click it, nothing. No details, no explanation. That's because most of it hides deep inside protected folders that Mac OS locks away to prevent accidental damage. But mixed in with the important stuff are gigabytes of clutter your system doesn't actually need. This guide will show how to uncover that hidden junk, safely remove it, and get your space back. Start with a few simple fixes, then move into a safe finder cleanup. Skip the risky commands and use of unnecessary tools. Just a clear way to free up space quickly. First, restart your Mac. It sounds basic, but it clears temporary cache files and resets memory that quietly builds up in the background. Next, empty your bin. Those deleted files still sit there, eating up storage until you do. Now, open system settings, go to general, then storage and check the recommendations section. Here, you'll see suggestions like store in iCloud or optimized storage. Turn those on and Mac OS will keep older files and photos in iCloud, freeing up valuable drive space instantly. If you use the mail app, open it, click message in the menu bar and select remove attachments. Those saved attachments are quietly taking up space even though you've already read the emails. And finally, check for old iPhone or iPad backups. Open Finder, then press Command, Shift, and G. Now just paste the path you see on the screen. You'll see folders for your previous device backups here. If any are years old or from phones you no longer use, you can safely delete them. That's your quick cleanup done, easy steps, instant results.